being found 15 miles inland and not on one of the great trading routes like Ephesus or Smyrna, Pergamon was nonetheless an important city, exceeding both of them as a city of culture. In fact, it was the capital city of Asia for hundreds of years before losing its crown to Ephesus. It had a unique status as a political city from which rulings were made, which affected the whole of Asia. And it became one of the most influential cities in the Roman Empire. Pergamon was built on a steep hill, making it an ideal fortress site, but it lent itself also to the construction of a 10,000 seater outdoor theatre. It was said the acoustics were so good you could hear a whisper on stage all the way up in the top row. It had a massive library, second only to the Great Library of Alexandria in the ancient world, and its collection of 200,000 books was so great that the Roman general Mark Antony presented it as a wedding gift to his bride Cleopatra. Pergamon was also a well-known centre for healing and medicine, with the world's first psychiatric hospital being established there. Even some of the Roman emperors came for medical treatment from time to time. During the time of shortage of papyrus from Egypt in the second century BC, parchment is thought to have been invented in Pergamon, deriving its name from the name of the city. Although animal skins had been used before, they came up with a way of preparing them on both sides to be used, and that eventually led to the replacement of rolled manuscripts with bound books. In his letter to the church, Jesus describes Pergamum as the place where Satan's throne is. It's a curious phrase, and over the years, lots of people have wondered what he meant. There was a famous altar there, and it has quite the story. It was known as the altar of Zeus, and it was where Antipas, the bishop of Pergamum, was sacrificed for refusing to worship the emperor. John had appointed Antipas, and Jesus described him as my faithful witness. This altar is still intact today. It was excavated in the 19th century and moved to the Pergamum Museum in Berlin in 1910. And it was from this altar that Hitler's chief of propaganda, Albert Speer, drew inspiration in designing the architectural monuments to the Third Reich in Nazi Germany. Mm -hmm.